Also in the green is our parent company, Verizon, after reporting better than expected earnings this morning. Yahoo Finance's Scott Gam sat down with Verizon CEO Hans Vestberg to discuss the details. Scott. Hey there, Jen. And yes, I'm glad you mentioned the stock performance of Verizon. It was up big this morning on the heels of those better than expected second quarter earnings which came out this morning. And the stock was able to stay in the green all day, even with the broader market sell-off. Now, a lot of my conversation with Hans Vestberg this morning centered around 5G. The company's capital spending for 2019 is expected to come in between 17 and 18 billion dollars as Verizon continues to invest in its network. Now, when we think about 5G, it's not just the 5G infrastructure that we should be thinking about. It's also 5G ready devices, uh, devices and that's part of my conversation with Hans. Take a listen. I think first of all, we have four devices out. We have three smartphones and one MiFi in Seagull that we just uh, launched. Uh, when we look into next year, basically all phones, smartphones that we're going to launch is going to be 5G enabled. Uh, when it comes to Apple, I think they need to answer that question. But we're going to see a lot of uh, phones coming out way before that in the market. And as we are building the network, uh, that benefit will be there. And some of the five or all of the 5G phones that we have today in the range. There are also great 4G phones. So ultimately, you want an experience for your customers. You, they want the best network wherever they are. They want to enjoy uh, the technology and, and doing new things. That's the most important. Let's talk a little bit about the industry, because we know 5G is at the center of the proposed T-Mobile Sprint deal, which was just approved by the Department of Justice. It still faces an antitrust lawsuit. But a condition of the deal is for various wireless assets to be sold to DISH. We know DISH is committed to 5G. What's your reaction to DISH as a possible competitor here? First of all, I think that uh, this, this is a new, uh, new industry structure because we have uh, one merger coming up and, and then DISH, of course, then uh, being a, a new player, uh, given that they passed the last hurdles here. Uh, so I think that for us, I think that we don't change the strategy. We decided our strategy one year ago. We're executing on that. We have our Verizon consumer group, business group, and media group that is running on top of our network, which we think is a super asset. Uh, we will continue to execute on that, and 5G is coming. Um, they will, of course, compete. But on the other hand, you need to think about it, and you said it yourself. I mean, we're spending around 17 to 18 billion US dollars on the network every year, and has done that consecutive years. Uh, at the same time, I believe that we have the best engineers in the industry. Uh, at this, so if they're going to catch us up, they need to do a, quite a lot to do it. And we believe that uh, quality networks is super important, especially going to, into 5G. So we will just continue to execute on the strategy we have. But of course, it's a new industry structure we see in front of us. Now, it was great to get Hans Vestberg's reaction to the latest development in the Sprint T-Mobile saga, which only happened last week, that DOJ approval. Now, it still, of course, faces an antitrust lawsuit from various states. But look, if the deal does eventually go through, DISH is set to emerge as the fourth wireless player in the industry. And we know DISH is, of course, pursuing 5G if it does indeed become a wireless player, guys. Uh, great work. Busy day down there. Scott Gam, we will be back to talk with you after the bell.